Pug Nation, now available in yellow. Hello everybody, welcome back, Pug Nation here. I'm sorry it's been so long since my last video, things in real life have been a little bit crazy. I've spent more time at work than I have at home or asleep. <laughs> so I'm sorry about that delay. Um, last episode we started our little, uh, we started a little farm, we got some bone meal, and... We found our first potato, which I actually completely forgot about, and <laughs> and didn't actually grow it or cook it or anything. <laughs> but as you can see, I went ahead and I made a bunch of bread, 25 bread, and I have five pumpkin pies. So uh, we are actually ready to do some real caving, and it has been suggested to me that I go ahead and make a crafting table and start... Uh, enchanting items, which I think is a very good idea, seeing as how I have 26 levels of experience. Definitely time to uh, get that going, so I went ahead and made a diamond pick, because in order to craft an enchantment table, we are going to need obsidian. We need four obsidian, and the only way to get obsidian is with a diamond pick, and actually I also need water. Unless I happen to find some naturally down deep in the caves, which is very possible, but... Uh, bring the water just in case to make our own. Also, we are going to have to get uh, two more diamond. Because I used the rest of our diamond to make this pick. Uh, in an earlier episode, I found six diamond. Two I used for the sword. One I used for a music box. <laughs> to play my awful music disc, and one I use to make this pick. So we're gonna try to find some diamond when we're down here as well. And actually, if I could find, I'm gonna try to find my tor follow my torches from the previous episode down here to where I was, because I remember there was some lava. Let me make sure this is on hard real quick. Yep, that's on hard. Because there was some lava down here uh, which, of course, I could use the water bucket on to go ahead and make my obsidian real quick and easy. Also, while I'm down here, because I actually do have resources, I would like to get some coal and as much iron as I can while still trying to keep the video short-ish. <laughs> Ish. Uh, because I think coming up pretty soon I would like to make my automated wheat farm. I would actually like that to be my the episode after this uh, will be the automatic wheat farm because I am sick of standing around and waiting for wheat to grow. <laughs> it is very boring for me. It's fine for you because you don't get to see it or you don't have to see it but I'm getting sick of it. So it is time. So we are gonna find some redstone and we're gonna find, we're gonna use some iron. Yep. And we're gonna need some coal, sorry, I lost my train of thought there. <laughs> we're gonna need some coal as well because, well, we're gonna need to cook the iron. Okay, let's actually, but let's go ahead and do first things first. I'm worried about the next episode already. First things first! Get ahead of yourself, Pug Nation. <sighs> ADD, Pug. Man, once again, once again, though, I am surprised. We are down here in the same cave system again, and I don't think I've found any mobs, which is... I haven't fought a single mob yet, which is a little bizarre. But that's okay. All right, we got our first... We got our first lava pit, and I'm just going to go ahead and get four obsidian. I might get... Well, while I'm down here, I'm going to get enough to make a nether portal, because eventually I'm going to want to do some potion making. And in order to do that, we need to go to the nether, we need to get blaze rods, all that good stuff. <laughs> so let's go ahead while we're down here. We'll get four, and then how much do I need for a nether portal? You need a minimum of ten, I believe. Yeah, oh, don't want that. We'll just put that there so I don't fall in the lava. That would be horrible. That'd be horrible. Horrible! I would lose five diamond plus all this food that I spent all that time sitting around waiting around to get. <laughs> so anyways, guys, yeah, I think I was thinking for the next episode I was going to do kind of another uh, uh, 
build, a kind of build episode. People seem to really like the uh, medieval house build episode. And I was thinking I would do a kind of a build video with the automatic wheat farm. Uh, let me know what you think, if you think that's a good idea. Uh, also, let me know what you think about the video length uh, here. Um, my videos, I'm trying to keep them around 20 minutes. I was noticing, though, that every video I was posted was getting a little bit longer. As a matter of fact, if the find this is too long, I might go ahead and edit through here. Because mining obsidian takes forever. <laughs> See, this is why we need enchantments. We need enchantments so that we can speed this up. I was thinking, I feel pretty safe. I, I don't feel like I need to enchant any armor or any weapons. Um, I feel pretty safe with, right now, at least, with this full set of iron. And also with my diamond sword and my bow and everything. I'm feeling pretty safe for now. Eventually, we're going to tackle the ender dragon. And we're going to tackle the wither to get our beacon and all that good stuff and then I'll probably start enchanting armor and weapons but for now I was thinking I would just go ahead and enchant this diamond pick with the best enchantment I can get. How many do I have? 11. Alright we need 4 for the table and we need 10 for... we need... To, uh. <laughs> we need 4 for the table and we need 10 for the, pearl, the uh, portal. Excuse me. Alright guys, welcome back. Decided to cut the video there because um, I found myself zoning out while I was mining for the stuff. <laughs> Figured I could go ahead and skip ahead through that. As you can see, I went ahead and got 18 obsidian. Got some extra. Um, that's good. I can make a full portal. Uh, get back. Get back. Get out of here. <laughs> that, that was the level. That was the same level I almost fell into the last time. Uh, Alright, so now we need to find some diamond if possible. I think I just heard a zombie. You don't scare me, zombie. I, I do admit I will do get a little nervous around the lava, though, because I don't want to get shot by a skeleton into the lava. That happened to me in the server I'm playing with a couple buddies of mine. Got shot into a lava pit and lost all my awesome items. Was not happy. <laughs> Let's just say, oh, uh, you. That scared me, guys. <laughs> That came out of nowhere. Alright, and this is where we were. This is where I found my diamond in a previous episode. I found it down here. So we know we are low enough. And lots of times there is diamond exposed uh, out in the open by these lava pits. I don't see one here. There was some over there, but I already got it, of course. So let's keep looking. God, I hate these. I hate these bats. Wee! <laughs> they make fun death noises, though. Oh my gosh. They make fun death noises. And that is the number one creepy comment of the video. Death noises. Excellent. <laughs> and nothing down here. Of course not. <laughs> oh man, I'm never going to find this diamond, guys. I knew it. I got super lucky in the one episode that we came down here. The episode where we uh, 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 we came to find... Why were we down here? What was the point of that episode? We came down, uh, we came down here to find gold to mount our great sheep escape. And I got... Ooh, oh, nice shot. Nothing. You got nothing on me. You got nothing on me. Hey, maybe that one where, while we're down here, we can get some extra bone meal, too, which would be nice. Get some more gold. Man, I'm finding gold all over the place. I never have this much luck, guys. Never, ever, ever. Uh, doesn't look like there's any diamond down there. I'm really hoping I could find it on the surface. I realize most of the time, diamond is not. Oh, ooh, that guy popped out of nowhere. <laughs> I do realize that most of the time, diamond, you do have to dig it for um really don't have the attention span right now to do that <laughs> to be honest just to be honest with you guys uh ooh, pumpkin pie it's pumpkin pie season is anyone else as excited about that as that ooh redstone need redstone need lots of redstone for the wheat farm so that's good anyone else as excited about thanksgiving as i am 
or any of my American viewers as excited about Thanksgiving as I am, I'm very excited. It might be my favorite holiday. It's nothing like getting fed. <laughs> Especially when you're like me and you pretty much live out of the freezer. <laughs> it's nice to have some real food for a change. I am looking forward to it, that's for sure. Alright. Alright, water. I've had enough of you. Thank you. How that water came from there? Ah! <laughs> uh, diamond. Diamond, diamond. Ooh, diamond down here. Maybe. Let's play it a little bit safe here. Uh, no, of course not. Now I have to climb back up the water. Ah, man, guys. Really wishing I hadn't made that sword now. <laughs> or the uh, the uh, music player. Had I known how bad the disc was that I found, I never would have made it. <laughs> and we continue our quest for the elusive diamond. <laughs> Keep on going. I think I'm probably going to cut a bunch of that video there because I've been kind of lost here for... I don't even know where I am anymore, guys. <laughs> Been wandering around for like 10 about <gasps> Yes! Yes! Diamond! Yes! There it is, guys! Oh, I'm so happy! Finally, let's see, how much do we think we got? Is it six? Like, like, well, it's at least two. Here, let's put this down. Let's put that down just in case there is lava. No, don't do that. Go that way. Yes. Just in case there is lava. Under oh, 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 that's why we put the water down. All right, we got well two, two, two diamonds. All right, that's all we need. That is all we need, guys. We got more than enough. Uh, we got more than enough uh, 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 obsidian, and we have the two diamond we need. So let's go ahead and get out of here. Um, I, oh, I didn't mean to eat that second pumpkin pie. I just love it so much, though. I can't help myself. Uh, <laughs> The second thing that we need... Nope, that's not the right way. I think I want to go this way. Well, first we need to get out of this cave. Uh, <laughs> and then we need to make a book. Now, the crafting recipe for books changed a little bit. I don't know if it was 1.3 or 1.4 update. Uh, and I'm lost. Completely lost again. <laughs> oh, I was here in the other episode. Okay. Uh, I don't know if it was 1.3 or 1.4 update. Oh, yeah, and it's up here. Uh, but now you need leather for books. It used to just be three paper. Now you also need leather. I haven't seen cows anywhere, I don't think. Or at least I don't recall seeing cows anywhere. So we're going to have to go on a little bit of a quest for those. No, this isn't the right way. I remember this now. It's, it's up here. There we go. Um, yep, so we're going to have to go on a little bit of a quest for cows. And then we should be good to go. It shouldn't be too hard to find that compared to that diamond. That took forever. And good, it's even daylight, so I don't have to battle my way back. No pugnacity in this episode. Still, I am playing this in hard, guys, I promise you. I don't know why. This is like the Cave of Peace. Cave of Peace! <laughs> Alright, now we are out of the caves. We got everything we need but the leather. And also, we're going to need a bunch of leather to make uh, enough bookshelves. I didn't even think about that. So they made, they made enchanting easier... Uh, in the sense that you need less experience levels to enchant things, but at the same time they made it harder because now it's a little bit trickier to craft books. Now you do need leather, which means you have to have, in order to make all those bookshelves, you need to have a lot of cows. So we might have to make a little cow pen, uh, which will take some time. What's that over there? Ooh. <laughs> Not sure if I've ever been over here. Uh, oh yes, yes, y yes. Okay, I have been over here. It's over here in one of the previous episodes. Uh, wow, what is? Oh, okay, yeah, I have been here. I was like, did a sheep eat all that? <laughs> that was one hungry sheep. Well, maybe it was many sheep, but okay, no. <laughs> that was a creeper explosion. Alright. 
So we got pigs over here, that's fine. Eventually, if I ever find carrots, I will like to have pigs. I kind of want to make pig stables. I think that would be kind of funny. That would be kind of cool. Because now, you can put a carrot on a stick and ride your pigs and actually uh, kind of steer them. Which I think is pretty neat. I actually really like that idea. Hey, more chickens. There are chickens over here? Wow, there's lots of chickens here. Man. The other episode, I went much further to find... <laughs> much further away to find the chickens that I ended up getting in the coop. I never thought of coming over here, though. Huh. Wish I had. <laughs> oh, well. Cows? I'm not gonna find any cows, am I? Oh, I was over here. I don't remember... I don't remember... I don't remember being here. <laughs> Maybe I was over here in the episode where I got those chickens, or... I'm not sure. It must have been something I did off camera. It's been a while since I actually played this map, so I'm a little... A little lost myself. Okay, this is closer to where cows will spawn. They won't spawn in the... <gasps> there we go! Cows! Thank you! You guys were making me look bad. Alright, let's take some pumpkin pie. Alright, where are we? I think... If the world would ever generate... <laughs> that, whoa, that's really cool, too. I think I live somewhere, like, straight that way. Of course, the world isn't generating, but... Let's see. Generate world! Wow, that's... That's really cool. Ah, so many cool things in this map. I love it. I love it. Give me your leather. Leather? Please give me your leather, sir. Wow, I can't. <laughs> I can't even hit him. Oh, come on. I'm not going to get any leather from the... Oh, there we go. Okay. Whew. All right. Let's not kill all these guys because eventually... Oh, no. I thought there was another one. Oh no, I thought there were four of them. No, I wanted to save two of them so I could breed them. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay. So we got one and two. Okay, we're going to save these guys here. And we kind of know the general, at least what the, uh, the, the their general vicinity is. So eventually I could come back here, breed some more cows. Because I'm going to want to, uh, I'm going to want to have... A large renewable source of leather. Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. Uh, I'm gonna want a large renewable source of leather so I can make those bookshelves to really get this uh, enchantment going. Because otherwise, I'm only gonna be able to get low-level enchantments here. Let's, let's see. Let's go ahead and build a boat. I don't feel like walking. Oh no! Give me that pumpkin pie back. Don't feel like walking back. Because I don't actually know how far away the pug house is. I know it's not that far, but I I hate swimming. It takes forever. <laughs> it wasn't so bad when you couldn't uh, uh, sprint run. And then they went ahead and they spoiled us by letting us sprint. And now swimming is just so slow. Alright. And this is good too. So when I see these torches from the sea, I will know. And the crafting bench, I will know. That the cows are near. I thought, oh man, that's a pretty long way to lead cows. Ah, hoping there are cows closer to the pug house that I didn't know about, like maybe over here. Because otherwise, that's going to take forever to lead them. <laughs> Alright, well, that's pretty close, but you can't really lead them across. Uh, can't really lead them across water. Oh man, isn't that a beautiful sight? I would love to make some like docks here, then you could kind of pull into the bay. Pull in front of the pug house. Alright. Do we have enough reeds? We have enough reeds, alright. As far as I can tell, we have all the materials to go ahead and make an enchanting table, so. Yep, yep, yep. Let's go ahead and make a book. Let's see, what's the crafting recipe for paper? It's just... Yeah, okay. 
And I think the book recipe is just there. And yeah, okay. The book goes on top. The diamond go like that. The obsidian goes like that. And woo, voila, we have... We have an enchanting table. All right, and you can tell I never enchant because I just got the achievement for enchanting. <laughs> Which is pretty amazing. Wow. Have I really never enchanted anything? I find that hard to buy. <gasps> King Sheep! Oh, you haven't fallen into the pit. Thank... Thank the Lord. <laughs> uh, uh, in some uh, future episode, I'd like to make kind of like a library or maybe like a wizard's tower type thing to have the enchanting table in. But for now, uh, that, that'll be a build episode for, for, for later. For now, I'm just going to go ahead and boop, put that right there. And let's see. No, I, I only got the one leather, so that's a shame. Can't make any more bookshelves. That's all right. Let's see if I can... Let's see what I can get with no bookshelves. Uh, looks like only level six. Uh, oh, there was a level... Eh, let's go ahead. Let's see what we got there. Efficiency one, unbreaking one. All right, that's cool. So it might a little bit of a fast, uh, <coughs> faster. And my pick will last a little bit longer. All right, I like that. I like that. That's that's pretty cool. We still have 19 levels. Let's go ahead and actually... Uh, oh, I don't have another diamond. I was going to go ahead and enchant a uh, diamond uh, shovel, but I don't have a diamond shovel. Let's go ahead and enchant the sword and see what I can get. Uh, let's do another level 8 if we can get it. Bane of Arthropods 2. I guess that's kind of cool. Killing spiders. And knockback 1. I like knockback 1. I won't have... I won't have as much problem with creepers, <laughs> that's for sure. Alright, let's go ahead and pop this music disc in, and I will let C418 sing you guys out. Oh man, you gotta love that. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you for watching this episode. We're getting close to the end, I think. So, I'm gonna go ahead and... Oh, that's cool. I don't know. I thought... That's cool. You get more than one potato. I think you can get one to four potatoes. Alright. Anyways. <laughs> thank you for watching this episode. If you liked it, please leave a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. I think tomorrow I am going to be... I'm going to go ahead and film a bunch of these episodes uh, right away so we don't fall into that problem where... Uh, I'd go a whole week without releasing an episode. So, I'm going to release this episode, and then I think tomorrow I'm going to go ahead and release the Let's Build of the Automatic Wheat Farm. So you guys can look forward to that. Also, in the previous episode, I mentioned that I was working on some uh, different kinds of videos. No, I have not forgotten those. <laughs> They're actually just taking very, very long to edit. And I mean very long. <laughs> it's much harder than I thought it would, <laughs> than I thought it would be. But they're coming along great. I think you guys will really like them. Stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, uh, I will go ahead and I will see you in the next episode. Thanks, guys.